Y'all ready to get into this main event or what? I know I'm all ready. Right. I think we're so all ready. this next wrestler I got it coming up. This man is from a very long beach, California. He is the mayor of Titty City. Weighing in at 207 plus an extra five pounds of coffee. He is the triple sex express. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for sexy. Sexy Eddie coming all the way from Toronto, making his debut here in Winnipeg. An absolute veteran of the independent scene, especially the independent deathmatch scene. He was a huge, he is a huge part of Canadian wrestling. If you go back and look, he was so influential with getting so many Canadian wrestlers down into the States in the early 2000s. Sure. We're here at 3D Pro again here for the main events. Protect your neck at the pyramid. I'm Tyler Colton, the Canadian Hercules, here with my partner, Blair Pacheco. You know, only last week, Sexy Eddie was the talk of the internet with his naked moonsault that he did at a GCW show. I, I did see clips of that. That was something else. And he's bringing a little bit of sex ed to Winnipeg tonight. It looks like he's setting some up for a lap dance. Looks too. like it. Yeah, he's looking to do a lap dance here for somebody. It seems like light tubes have been distributed to everyone in the front. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. That's a great idea, but we're going to see what happens with that. Here comes a fan ready for their free sexy Eddie lap dance. There we go. Eddie's about to deliver. Look at that hair. You know, when I was a young guy just coming up and watching the CCW DVDs, you know, in the in the mid 2000s, Sex City was a big part of those. He was a very early feature in the deathmatch scene when it was kind of coming off of the, the ECW run and getting into the really crazy stuff. Sex City was a big deal back then, man, and he's still doing this thing. It's good to see him here. It is very pronounced thick. And this is his Winnipeg debut too. He's been wrestling for over 20 years, finally making an appearance in Winnipeg. Yeah, you know, for a lot of people, Winnipeg is one of those places where you can do a whole career and kind of skip over it without really thinking about it too much. But you know, these days we've been seeing so much amazing talent coming through Winnipeg. And that's the end of the song, I guess. <laughs> crowd seems very appreciative of Sexy Eddie. <laughs> They're right, right into it. This fan is just kind of awkward to sit there now. <laughs> they might sit there for the whole show. And that music can only mean one person. One of my absolute favorite people in Winnipeg Wrestling. One of my favorite personalities in Winnipeg Wrestling. The Ukrainian sex machine, Vinko. Another real, you know, like he's a guy that a lot of people outside the Winnipeg scene might not be aware of, but he's truly one of the great managers in Western Canadian wrestling history. He is just amazing. He does amazing things to help his men, you know, win their matches. The way he talks, the way he gets the crowd, you know, with them or against them or whatever he's trying to do, it's pretty special what he can do. And he has managed a who's who of wrestlers here in Winnipeg too. Absolutely, that's very true. You know, he's managed the BSB, the Big Sexy Beast, the Kevin Chevy, AJ Sanchez. He's managed Mentolo. This really goes on and on, but once you include those three, that's the top three guys in Winnipeg Wrestling right there. Without a doubt. And he's, it seems like he's got something to say. I guess I get... He usually does. <laughs> you take it off, you want it on? Hold on. There, so, you, go, there you go, there you go. Sexy Eddie! You may not know who I am, but there's some people here that do. And I am Vinko, the Ukrainian sex machine! There's a whole lot of sex up on that stage right now. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you a little story about a man. A man who started his professional wrestling career at 15 years old. He would go through the back of the bar, beat the piss out of adults, get paid, and leave before the Salvation Army 
would close him down. <laughs> Fast forward a few years, he went to Japan, beat the piss Woo! out of the Japanese. Wow. He went to America and beat the piss out of the Americans. Wow. And he's been coast to coast right here in Canada, beating the piss out of every Canadian that came across him. Now, Eddie. Beat Eddie off. Whoa. This crowd knows what they want to see. That's disgusting. You know when you, when you put Vinko off, you said something really strange. <laughs> it's not often that Vinko's at a loss for words. Beat him off crowd rings up from the, a chant rings up from the crowd. And when you got triple X sexy Eddie up there, I mean, anything is possible. What is wrong with your people? Degeneracy. Eddie, you are a great ambassador for sex and violence. You got three X's in your name. That's a high score, man. But this man. He's not gonna beat the piss out of you. He's gonna beat your fucking brains out. Oh, and there's nothing you can do about it. That's true. That's right. Oh, that's right. That's right. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. Oh, Ted here with Vinko and Sexy Eddie before even Stefan Epic gets out here. Head to head. It looks like they're kind of rubbing their crotches together. Stefan Epic is what I'm told maybe his last match here for a while. He's not sure the next time he's going to don the old wrestling boots. It, it seems that was the word going around. And I mean, there are not many as tough as Stefan Epic here. You know, I said before that he was a guy that when I started wrestling, he was he had a different moniker. He, he wrestled under the name Don Douglas. And he was a very different wrestler than what we see today. He was very uh, technical. He was, a, he was an inside the ring kind of wrestler. And now we see this very violent side, this like bloody guts and glass and barbed wire side that I, you know, maybe was there the whole time, but I, it surprises me a little bit to see how violent he could really be. You know, I watched him wrestle against uh, the Briscoe brothers with Kevy Chevy, RIP yes. Jay Briscoe, and he was, it was an amazing wrestling match that really surprised me with what Stephen Epic could do. Uh, as I was a fan watching in the front row, and I just couldn't believe how good Stefan Epic was. I didn't realize it until that moment, and it's interesting to see this turn he's taken in a, a whole new style in his career. And if I'm not mistaken, the match is up on YouTube, and I encourage everyone to check it out afterwards, because those two teams put on a fantastic wrestling match. Absolutely. One of those special matches in Winnipeg wrestling history, for sure. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes. Woo! Woo! Ready? Ready? Referee Eddie, Woo! calling for the bell. This crowd's in tight, they're very close here. We gotta be careful with those glass shards. Yeah. You think it's tough? You came across the country for this. He knows he's tough. He knows he's tough. I'm over there. Oh! He's so tough. We trade a couple chops back and forth. Come on, Edward! So far, the crowd has asked for beating off and blood, so we're in for a treat tonight. Just Come trading on. chops back yeah. and forth. No. Double from Sexy Eddie. Stefan Epic's t-shirt absorbing a lot of those, the impact of those chops, I think, and just a poke in the eye. And wow, oh, this could be early. Body slam. Oh, right God, the cold. <laughs> Seems like Stefan Epic, or Sexy Eddie might not have been super phased by that when yelling that it was cold. That might be the worst part of that slam for him, I guess. Oh, big rake of the eyes there. Definitely have to maybe looking around for some hardware. Oh, Vinko. Giving him something there. It's kind of hard to see past this crowd here, but Vinko definitely did something he wasn't supposed to be doing. Oh, 
He's got a barbed wire baseball bat, it looks like. Oh, wasting no time getting to the hard way here. Dragging it across his back. Yeah, I believe that one was brought by the fans, actually. Oh, Stiff shot there from Stephen. What's a liver? Iron iron! That's kind of the thing that he does. He just shouts and he keeps people disoriented. There's voices coming from all over that the opponent just can't be sure who he's looking at, who he's trying to fight. Wow. Wrist is broken. There's no way. Something going Grab on. Me a river, baby. Looks like Eddie's grabbed something. <laughs> something happened over in the corner. Hurts. Oh, the record. <laughs> Buddy Holly's greatest hits across the <laughs> forehead. Oh, man, Sexy Eddie. Is that a staple gun? That looks like a staple gun to me. Oh, shit. Here comes that real violence. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh! Was that to the neck? He stapled it right to his cheek, I think. Maybe his lip. Oh. Holy shit. Oh! oh another Both one. sides. Oh, God. God. Talk about things I did not expect to see tonight. Wow, that's gotten extremely violent extremely quickly. Getting the crowd out of the way here. They're also holding light tubes. Oh, a huge right. 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 They're right in front of us now. Going to the hot sauce. Intergalactic hot sauce, one of the sponsors here of the night. A wide variety of flavors. They're doing something horrible. Oh, he's... Sexy Eddie says no to the hot sauce. Can't quite see what's happening here, oh, but... looks like he's going to feed it to Epic. Putting hot sauce into his mouth or his eyes or up his nose. I can't really tell. Yo, you get some of that in the respiratory system, and that's going to mess you up. Intergalactic hot sauce makes delicious hot sauce, but you don't want to be breathing it in like that. You don't want to be going in your eyes. Sexy Eddie with the furious shots. Forearms, knees, and the gut. Drives the head into the head. Looks like he's looking for something. Got a little bit of a bad angle in here in this one, but Stefan Epic's at the bar asking for something from the bar, maybe? Sexy Eddie from up top. Big dive oh. cross body. And they roll through. Looks like he's going for a pin. Lost my sight line here again, but yeah, it sounds like there's something going on over there. Pinfall attempt. A two count. Wow, close call for uh, Sexy Eddie. Unfortunately, our, our commentary table is not mobile unless we would follow. No, we're just recalling exactly what we can see right now, which is kind of limited, unfortunately. But they're making their way back to the front here. Fans still following with light tubes. It's a, kind of an eerie scene here to see all these fans with the light tubes. Light tubes dispersed about their all. Yeah, very oh, ominous. Something awful is definitely going to happen. This was one of the weapons that seemed to friend uh, 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 that brought. Uh, ornament sticking out of this? Is that what it is? I can't, I can't tell what those are on there, but I'm sure it's unpleasant. <laughs> oh, jeez. They, they demolished that boy. Oh, my God. And just real, real force on that one. Like, Stefan Epic really put out what he had into throwing him in that one. Stefan Epic might not be a guy that you would think of as being like particularly strong or whatever, but he's a big dude, and when he puts his body weight in something like that for one big uh, concerted effort, he can really hurt you. And you've seen the past few, past few events with 3D Pro. This is no, Stefan Epic is no stranger to this sort of No, action. and Stefan Epic calling for the barbed wire. You can see Stefan's breathing a little heavy right now. This might uh, affecting the match a little bit later on. You can see St Sexy Eddie's in pretty good shape right now. He's a little bit on the older side and you know, kind of tail end of his career maybe, but he's still in great shape. He looks fantastic. Oh no, I know exactly what he has in his hand there. He's got the skewers. 
Oh, <laughs> st literally stabbing him in the head with skewers. Driving them through the top of the head. Oh my God. Those jabs. Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> Something awful is about to happen. Oh, into a steel chair head first. Oh, yikes. He's got all the rest of the skewers now jerking him off like a dick. Sexual Edward has come to play tonight. Ooh, low blow it looked like there. Oh no. Oh shit. Oh, oh shit. Oh, oh shit. Driving the skewers into sexy Eddie's head. Oh! Oh, oh no. Holy shit. Holy shit. Literally Holy stabbed shit. into his head. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh my god, that is Holy truly <laughs> horrible. Epic and here comes the barbed wire. We've got the barbed wire door setting that up. Stephanie's pulling out all the stuff from this match tonight. Sexy Eddie's just pulling pieces of sharp wood out of his head right now. That is an extremely unpleasant way to spend your Thursday in Winnipeg. Light to to the back of Stefan Epic. Maybe onto his shoulder that looks like the exposed part of his arm. Now you mentioned before you've been in one of these matches before. What is it like when you first get hit with a light tube? Uh, you know what? I didn't get hit with a light tube. Oh Jesus! So I have no idea what it feels like. Um, I know it's horrible. It's broken glass on your face. That's gonna feel fucking terrible. And that dust that spews out that can't be good for anyone. No. Oh. None of this is good for him. It looks like the ref is the smart one out of everyone as he's got protective glasses on. He's got glasses on. on and gloves and everything. Now, this has to be a first for the Pyramid Cabaret. Yeah, well this is, as far as I can tell, this is only the second time that this has ever happened in uh, Manitoba in these like, no ring death uh, match styles. But not something you see super frequently. But they've become more and more popular as wrestling's progressed. That's true. Both guys barely holding on here. Oh, sexy Eddie's on the wobbly legs here. Oh my goodness. He's dancing around that table. He's still he's on one knee. How's he gone down yet? Holy shit crap. Chant ringing up from the crowd. And Epic is busted open on his forehead. Yeah. Oh! oh. Oh, digging the glass into the forehead. Just driving this sharp glass in there. Oh, man. that's and That fluorescent light tube glass is razor sharp. The second that it breaks like that, it's incredibly easy to cut yourself and make it worse. Sexy Eddie fighting back, though. Oh. Just close, dropped him on the speaker. Close to a light tube, a light tube bundle there. Stefan Epic following him up there, taking the long way, though. Higher ground there. Look at the blood just streaming down Stefan Epic's face. Stefan is calling a shot right here. He's gonna drive him through that barbed wire table. And with that jab. Whoa, wobbly legs for both guys here. Counting every shot. Oh! oh I Eddie counters it, hip tosses Epic from the, the board. <laughs> from off the stage, that's like a four foot drop. Oh my God. Wow, Sexy Eddie picking up a victory his first time in Winnipeg. Can hardly call that a wrestling match, but a, a victory nonetheless. That was a battle. Light tubes thrown about, barbed wire, broken doors, chairs everywhere. Sexy Eddie just found his fan to get a selfie with him. No, 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 no. 
And with that, we see 3D Pro's first no ring, or venture into no ring deathmatch wrestling. Protect your neck here at the Pyramid Cabaret in Winnipeg, Manitoba. Sexy Eddie, that was probably a, some new fans here. That was a fun night of wrestling. Some great bands, some wrestling, you can't go wrong. Absolutely, totally agree. And the crowd just gathered around taking selfies. 